so it all started when we started getting ready for our youngest daughter wanted to be married. Yes. Here. My youngest daughter wanted to get married here. She just thought it was a beautiful place and she wanted it to be somewhere where she could always remember and uh, look back on it. So we bought the 20 acre track farm first and that was in 2002. So that was pretty much exactly 20 years ago when we done that. And uh, it was bare land, wasn't a fence post or nothing on it. And the uh, first thing I done was built the barn pretty much myself with a little help. First in, in the back. He's become a little partner. Kept building fencing on the farm and uh, driving up and down the driveway every day and looking at this log cabin and wishing one day it would be ours. I had had a hip replacement and I couldn't return back to the type of work I had been doing, which was childcare. And um, I had just started praying and asking, you know, the Lord, what's next for me? You know, am I done or what's next? I was looking out the bathroom window and the Lord was showing me this property. He said, you're living on a piece of gold here. He was just telling me that, you know, this, this land is, is beautiful. You know, I was agreeing with the Lord, you know, talking to my spirit. Then the Lord just started showing me different things about the log cabin. So I was like, Lord, what, are, what do you want me to do with this log cabin? Right after the Lord said that to me in the window, it wasn't a couple weeks later, we had four people. It was four people in a car pulling our driveway. Four old people. I mean, they were well-to-do people. Here, my husband's studying, getting ready. We was going to church. He's a Sunday school teacher. And they wanted to come in and look at the cabin. And it was just weird. <laughs> and Chris, my husband's like, uh, I I'm sorry. Um, we're getting ready to leave to go to church. They wanted to come in and look at it. I mean, it's just weird. Isn't that weird? <laughs> So that was one of the things, and I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I was like, Lord, okay, is that a sign of something? I, I, I didn't, but I can't say that. It's weird. So the story that we know on the cabin is that the logs date back to 300 years old. And it was a cabin that was in northern Indiana, and it was bought and dismantled and the logs was sent out and uh, re-kilned uh, and it was brought here and re-erected and then that was in 1998 and then they uh, did the additions to it uh, at that time and Obviously, they lived here from 98 to 2002. I know God opened the door and it come up for sale. And we didn't really even know if we could afford it, but that was in 2008 when the uh, housing market, stock market and everything crashed. And uh, we took a great leap of faith and we leased this cabin to hold on to it and it took a year and a half to finally get a loan to buy this track of land and the cabin and finally became ours in 2010. We started having a lot of events here, fall festivals, we do big family Christmas dinners. I started making my cabin more open for people to come in and doing things and hosting these great big baby showers. And I just seen that, okay, the Lord is,
turning this into something. I just couldn't put it all together. And then we had my daughter's wedding out here. I was watching this young lady put these beautiful fresh flowers on the arch and I just wanted to go down there and tell her how beautiful it looked. So I went down there and I was going on and on about how beautiful the flowers looked and she had a young man with her. He said, ma'am, he said, do you own this property, this log cab? And I said, yes, my husband and I do. And he said, um, well, do you know what you have here? And I said, well, uh, no, not really. He said, if this was my property, I would turn the log cabin into an Airbnb. He said, this property here is like a wedding venue. It's perfect for weddings. And he brought up the building on this other property. He was like, do you all own that? And I, I said, yes, that's my husband's garage. And he said, well, that can be a reception hall. He just went on and on about how beautiful the property was. And, you know, he was just letting me know what this property could be. So I just started laughing at him, you know, I was just laughing and uh, I was like, well, thank you, thank you. And as I turned around uh, to come back up to the cabin, I just had like goosebumps all over me because it was like confirmation to me of what, you know, uh, I was feeling that I needed to do. I couldn't wait to tell my husband. It was like he planted a seed in me and I immediately was like ready to turn this place into something. We met Katie and I felt like God was telling me, I, you know, I've sent her to help you get this started. So I met the Grigsby's a few years ago when I had some transmission problems, major transmission problems, and everyone said the best in the business was Steve Grigsby, and he wasn't taking new clients, but decided he would take on our truck. During my recovery, when I started uh, getting around better, I wanted something to do. So I told my husband, I said, I'm, I'm going to start helping you up at the shop, his shop and cropper. I mean, I can answer the phone and, and you know, help, help take care of the appointments and things. So that's when Katie started calling the shop. So she had heard about my husband, Stephen Grigsby. She called the shop and that's how we come across her. She brought the truck up there. Of course, you know, my husband specializes in motors, transmissions, and he ordered parts and everything for this truck and fixed it, you know, just like she wanted it. She kept calling the shop. She was like calling the shop like every day. And so I was talking to her and she was the most, you know, high spirited, uh, just, you know, friendly, just, you know, Katie. We have been friends ever since, and I just love having them as friends. And I just knew there was something about her, but I didn't know it was the opening of the door to something new for us. Um, we found out she was a realtor and everything, and then, um, I told her about what I wanted to do with this log cabin. A couple years ago, they shared their dream with me of converting their farm into an Airbnb. And really, the whole purpose of it was to be able to share it with other people, the beauty, the nature, and their love of this beautiful old log cabin. She came in started telling us what all needed to be done. She seen my dream and 
I told her whatever it takes, this is what I want to do. I, I want it to be a business and I want it to be my business, you know, something, because I worked at the daycare for 25 years and I, you know, my last couple years there, I was asking God, is there something, you know, is there something else that you created me to do besides, you know, change diapers? <laughs> I wanted to do something new because I love to decorate and I I love to clean and I like to show off something that I've got. You know, and I've always loved this log cabin. You know, it's 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 a part of me. She just jumped on in my dream and you know, she helped us get it started. So, we made it a reality. We just jumped right in and um put it on Airbnb. I was already involved with Airbnb and a super host. So we just made it happen and the rest is history. That's how, that's how it happened. Hey, come on in. Their farm is just outstanding now. There's cattle and horses. We're really excited about the future and doing more events. We're all so happy to be able to do that. She just jumps into whatever's going on and gives it her all. We're so thankful for her. Uh, uh, she puts her heart into everything she does. She's turned, she's turned this property around for us and, and has helped us make it into something that we can share with others. And so we're so grateful for her. So we had another dream <laughs> to uh, add uh, experiences uh, to people that stayed here. I've always wanted a uh, covered wagon and never thought that it would ever be possible to get one. The door just opened up and then 
It wasn't that far away from here, really. Didn't have to go far. Uh, had some friends that actually seen it on the internet, and it was in Shelby County, believe it or not. They said, there's a wagon on the internet. You should look at it. I really didn't even take them serious, and I said, well, what, what kind of wheels is on it? Oh, it's the real deal. It's got wooden wheels on it. And I thought, well, okay, I'll look at it. And when I saw it on the internet, it was beautiful. It looked brand new. So I figured it's, it's gonna be thousands of dollars. Didn't even know if I was gonna get it or not, but we, we made the phone call, and of course the guy's story was that somebody's done Somebody's done bought it and they ain't picked it up yet. He said, uh, it's done been two or three weeks and uh, they ain't never come picked it up. He said, if you come by it today, you can have it. And uh, I went and looked at the thing and ended up getting it for uh, a really good price. It was a dream come true. It's a nice wagon. Horses is just something you get into it you love. Because, I mean, I was back to horses all my life. I mean, I used to break horses. I enjoy coming out here riding, you know, just riding around. I don't know, I just, you know, got a dream and a vision of uh, interacting with uh, people and having experiences. You know, I just, and I enjoy doing it. I just enjoy doing it. You know, it's a, a new chapter for my life, you know, to do this. I know that there's greater things coming for this cabin and this property. We want to share more experiences and um, there's more to come. And we had a dream. <laughs> and it, by the grace of God, became a reality and a lot of faith.